Hey race fans, this is Randy Orton Fan 2011 back here once again for round three in season three of the PRWC Pepsi Max Nationwide Series. This is the race here. We're racing here at Las Vegas, and this is the Las Vegas race weekend. So we're going to be here for the Pepsi Max Nationwide Series as well as the Pepsi Cup Series. And this is round three of 30. Joining me here in the broadcast booth is none other than Charlie 7847, aka Charles Jackson. How are you doing, my man? I'm good, man. Looking forward to a All right. good race at Las Vegas. All right, Charles. Give me your, give me some analysis on this. Who, by looking at the starting lineup, who do you think is going to hit the jackpot today? I would say James Qual is starting first. He has a uh, great momentum and uh, has a great team, Richard Childress behind him. So I would expect him to go victory lane today. I'm going to go with Michael Norman on this one because Michael Norman's coming off the win at Daytona, and he's going to have he has a lot of momentum going on for him as well. So he's actually the points leader at this point. So we'll see if Michael Norman can continue his uh, can continue keeping that points lead as we take a look at the rest of the starting lineup. I was looking at your starting lineup, as like we said, James Qualls is starting on the pole. He'll be starting right next to Ryan Cooper, the Daytona 500 winner from the Pepsi Cup Series. Dylan Poteet will be starting in the third position, and he'll probably need a lot of momentum to uh, get back in the points race here. And like I said, Michael Norman will be starting fourth. Take a look at some of these other notable drivers here. As we go through, cycle through the field here. Uh, our defending champion, Danny Wells, he'll be starting back in the 21st position. He's going to need a lot of momentum as well to uh, get back in the points race and thick of things. Hey, Charles. Uh, yeah. Hey, Charles, how about you give us those famous words of motorsports? All right. Give me a minute. Here we go. To me, start your insane. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm good. Let's do it. 20 laps here at Las Vegas to determine who will have the momentum coming in to the next round. We'll see if any of the cars have any problems prior to the start of this race. It doesn't look like that is the case, so that is a good thing. We got all 42 cars ready to start. Pace car will hit the it will hit pit road. Here we go, guys. 150,000 plus here are ready to go racing here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We are at Sin City. There is the green flag. We are ready. We are underway Let's here in go. Vegas. Oh, they're already going three wide, it looks like. Touching they're already starting to bunch up. Oh, there they go. There they go already. Oh, Yellow oh, flag is out oh, just oh, like oh, that. Oh. Holy shit, just wall. like that. I, like I can't cycle one. through the cars fast enough. Oh, man. Oh, oh, David oh, oh, Burton's in the wall. In. David Burton's in the wall. There's the, the yellow flag. Preston Ploid's going to take oh, another hard dude. hit. John Dillon's going to hit him. Alexander Jones also with a piece of that. Oh, look out. Oh, they're still wrecking him down the straightaway. Well, as it and came back James to the start Paul, finish Paul, line, it's James Qualls who leads the field to the line. Dylan Poteet second, Ryan Cooper third, Luke Martin has moved his way into fourth, and Cody Lamas runs at the top five. Hell of a lot of cars took a hard hit. Look at this. Alex oh, Jones, man. he's up in smoke. He's done for the day. John Dillon's probably going to have to go to pit road. 
Sean Galligan might have taken some damage there. Look at Rhett Yates. He's up and so he's done for the day. Liam Irvick took a hard hit right there. Liam Irvick took a hard hit. There you see Dylan Young has some damage. Preston Plor took a hard hit as well. Um, they're and a 51, who is that? Oh, that's Sam Young. Heavy Sam damage Young. to Sam oh, Young. Not great Look at that hood. Young. Look at that hood. At, after not, his mom has passed, too. Not a great race for him. Yeah, not the way that uh, Sam Young wanted to see his... Uh, to have his uh, have a race, and neither had Dylan Young. We saw Mike, we saw other cars with some damage. Look, Michael Norman has some damage yeah, to Michael the left Norman. side. The pole sitter, he's back in the six. He's backed into the 16th position. So, as we're under the yellow flag for the first time in this race, let's take a look. What put us under the yellow flag? This will put us under the yellow flag for the first time in this race. Watch, uh, watch Luke Martin and Cody Lamas. They're gonna go down the racetrack. They're gonna get into Liam Irvig here. And watch what happens with Seth Cole. Seth Cole, he's gonna get he's gonna get spun around by Liam Irving. He's gonna get into Robert Wagner, a previous race winner, who gets into Alexander Jones, who gets into Sam Young. Heavy hit right there, and there's our pole sitter Michael and there's there's a our points leader, I should say. Michael points leader. Norman. Points leader Michael Norman's gonna take a hard hit. Seth Cole also took a hard hit Ooh. right there. Now and, something uh, eight now, coming back into it. Oh yeah, something happened back there. Oh, something ha something happened behind these guys. It happened somewhere around this area. Oh, they were four wide. Oh, look at that. They are four wide. Steven Whitman and Joseph Lombard came up the racetrack. They're going to get into Rhett Yates here, and Sean Galligan's going to get a piece of it as well. And then the 13. Yeah, the David, Bur David Burton really had to go down there, but then we'll see what happened with him. And they're right around here. You see Ryan Richards and Tony Blazer not giving an inch to each other. They're going to take each. They're going to go each other for a ride. Now, I wonder what happened with David Burton. Uh, we saw him take a hard hit. I don't know if we did. Yeah, you have a lot of damage. Oh, there was oh, there was another incident that happened right around here, right as they came back up to the racetrack. Watch David Burton. He goes up the racetrack. He's gonna get into the 93 of Brandon Bain, and that's where David Burton's gonna take a hard hit right here. Ooh, well, he had no grip down there with the uh, apron. So yeah, that's... not a lot of grip down there in the apron. Oh, and there was more. Oh, oh wait, there was there... more. There was more. There was more to that than we thought. Oh, right here it starts. Oh, Liam with, got into the 56. Liam like. Irvig goes into the 56 of Jacob Cook. They're going to get into Michael Norman again. So Michael Norman's going to take a second hit, and there and, Dil and then Dylan, Dylan Young. Yeah. Dylan Young's going to get involved along with Matthew McMurray. So multiple incidents have put us under the yellow flag here. Just a lot of confusion going on here in Vegas. I mean, that's what the high stakes are for. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of cars out of the race after this. This is the race back to the start finish line. It's James Qualls followed by Dylan Poteet, Ryan Cooper third, Luke Martin will move up to fourth, and Cody Lamas rounds at the top five. So we're under the L flag for the first time in this race, and we'll get back to green flag racing right after this. Right before we go back to live action, let's give yourselves a top ten rundown as the pace car has given us one to go. James Qualls is the leader. Dylan Poteet second, Ryan Cooper third, Luke Martin fourth, and Cody Lamas runs at the top five. Max Russell's in sixth, Eric Burton seventh, Jacob Law in eighth, Xavier Livingston ninth, and Richard Johnson runs at the top ten. Seth Cole, you see on the inside line, he's a lap down. Three cars of DNF in the race, John Dillon, Alex Jones, and Rhett Yates. So those, all those first incidents, three cars have uh, have been taken out. And we didn't, and it didn't take that long for a couple of cars to be taken out. Who knows what could happen here? Yeah, a lot more racing to go. We're just about 25% through this race as the pace car hits pit road once again. Green flag is back in the air for the restart on lap six. Oh man, look at that 14 went way high up there. Oh, just not a lot of room there. Not a lot of room on that out on the oh, inside oh, line. Oh, there they oh. go. There they go. <laughs> There they go again. Look out. Y'all oh, flags out. Eric Burton is now involved. Oh, Stephen Whitman. Oh, there more. goes Joseph Lombard oh, and more. Holy shit. Oh, my God. And the y'all flag is out again. More cars got involved in all those incidents. And here they go racing back to the line. Okay. We'll win it back again. And it's James Coles who will beat the field to the line and very likely could lead at the halfway point. Dylan Poteet second, uh, Luke Martin is now up to third, Ryan Cooper has fallen to fourth, and Cody Lamas is now fifth. But look at this, Stephen Whitman, oh, the guy who won the, the special competition, he's up in smoke, he's done for the day, but he's not. he'll be in the Cup Series playoffs, not the Nationwide Series playoffs. Look at that, Ben Paul, heavy damage to Ben Paul. Uh, Eric Burton took, was the first guy to take a hard hit. 
And Kyle Sosnowski, he's actually making his first start. Kyle Sosnowski, I forgot to mention this. Kyle Sosnowski, he's on pit road. He might have to make some repairs. And look at Sam Young with all that damage to the 51 machine. Oh, man. And he's going to DNF from oh, this he's race. Done. He's he is done. He His day is done. So we're under the L flag for the second time this race, and we very likely may see more cars of DNF from this race as we take a look. We'll put us under the L flag for the second time. This is what brings out yellow flag number two in the race. Now, pay attention to the 99 of Seth Cole as he's a lap down car. You see he doesn't get as good of a start as James Qualls does. And you see him look at Seth Cole really having to slow down. He has to, now you see Max Russell here. He's going to go to the inside and watch Eric Burton here in the 31. Just no room for Eric Burton to go. And he's going to get spun around by Jacob Lawler. And then... Uh... Now, they're gonna get into it. that's what put us under the yellow flag, but there were more incidents to this. There were more incidents to this. Let's take a look at some of these other cars. Uh, watch the 40... Look at this, look at this. There are four... They went four... They bunched up... Four cars bunched up right here. Barney Ward, Callum Wells, Red Bell, and Joseph Lombard. They bunched up right here. And you see Joseph Lombard's gonna get... Tur gonna turn around Red Bell. Lombard's gonna also get into Robert Wagner here. And then there's gonna be more cars that are gonna get involved to this. Look, just watch. Look at that hard hit. Ben Paul and Stephen Whitman, or the guy who won the special competition, Preston Plored, Liam Irving, they're also going to get a piece of it. Dylan Young and Jacob Cook, they're also oh. going to get involved. So more mm. cars, many more cars getting involved in this. Now, oh, 31 lifted the 55. Oh, Ryan Richards also took a hard hit. Oh, man. And then there was more up there with yeah, the there 18, was, I think. Yeah, something happened with the 18 of Justin Perry. We'll take a look at, let's take a look what happened with the 18. You see, as the as the wrecks were happening in front of him, oh, he just he just flat Ryan out, he just, just took him out. Ryan Juke just flat out takes out the 18 and Justin Perry. I don't know what the hell Ryan Juke was thinking, wow. but he thought he thought um he could clear Justin Perry there. He could try to go on the inside line. Look at all these cars. Look at look at all these cars oh, trying to avoid that. Who is that that just missed him? That was Callum Wells. Oh, in the two. Hold on, let's that was see. close. Right there, he takes a hard hit. Oh no, wait, Don't that was. 12. That was Trent Dunham. Trent Dunham Trent just Dunham. barely missed him. And right there, Sam Young is going to yeah, take another Sam hard Young. hit. That's what ended Sam Young's day. Not a good day for the Young so far. Oh, man. So I'll tell you, Justin Perry won't be happy after this. Yeah, Sean Galligan just went to the garage. Stephen Whitman, he's up in smoke. He's done for the day. And look at oh, all the da man. look at the damage on Liam Irvick, Preston Plored, Jacob Cook. A lot of damage to those cars. Red Bell. And, uh, yeah, many more cars. This is the race back to the start-finish line. Oh, wait, they already crossed the start-finish line after th at this point. Let's take you back to there. It's James Qualls who leads the field to the line. Bye bye, Dylan Pote. Luke Martin barely, yeah. just barely got third over Ryan Cooper. And yeah. Cody Lamas will run out the top five. Man, a lot more cars getting involved in these incidents, I'll tell you. It's very aggressive here. You want to go for the jackpot, but... You know, one mistake by one driver can really cost the, can really, co can really cost the race for many others. Well, at this point, we might pass the halfway point, so James Qualls might be the leader at the halfway point, but we'll have to wait and see as we are under the yellow flag for the second time this race, and we'll be back to green flag racing right after this. We're back. Pacers giving us the one to go once again. Here comes another top ten rundown. James Qualls still the leader. Dylan Poti in second. Luke Martin in third. Ryan Cooper fourth. And Cody Lamas runs to the top five. Max Russell's in sixth. Danny Wells in seventh. Xavier Livingston eighth. Michael Norman up to ninth. And Charles Jackson runs to the top ten. How about that 15 crew, man? They did a lot. They didn't start that great, and they must have did a lot to get up there. Well, missing you got all those wrecks and stuff. Got to give kudos to that 15 team at Charles Jackson. They miss a lot of wrecks, and now they're inside of the top 10. Looks like they'll try to gain some momentum after the Phoenix race and when they finish 7th. A good run for them so far. A couple of cars are a lap down. Seth Cole, Kyle Sosnowski, and Eric Burton, they're all lap down. Three cards DNF from the second caution. Sean Galligan, Stephen Whitman, and Sam Young. Man, James Qualls, like I said, he's starting on the pole and he's taking advantage of it. Good yeah, job but, for him look, today. But look who is uh, look who's behind him is fellow Kentucky native and of course our two time defending Pepsi Cup Series champion Dilla Poti, and then you got a rookie in Luke Martin right behind him as the green flag is back out in the air for the restart on lap oh, eleven. Oh yeah. James Qualls has already led at the halfway point, so he will automatically oh. get 
another bonus point. He actually has three bonus points so far in this race for leading the most laps as well. Oh, David Burton. Oh, David Burton. Uh -oh. Okay. oh. Look out. Look out. 13. Oh, man. Man, oh, more close. made it to the first corner this time. Yes, the pace car lights are not on just yet. Oh, who's now that? Something, something might happen. Know. Oh, they're really bunching up here. They're really bunching up here in turns three and four. Gotta be careful. Oh, Barney Ward. Uh oh, all Barney the Ward's on the apron. Barney Ward's on the apron. That is not an out-of-bounds line, though, because this is not a super speedway. Oh, he passed Oh, no, the there he goes. Oh. There goes Barney Ward. Barney Ward, Joseph Lombard, David Burton, oh. Liam Irvig, Dylan Young. And oh, more. Michael man. Norman more. got a hard hit. Who's that? And Brandon Bain stopped dead on the track. Oh, there was more. Oh, Justin Perry. Oh, Justin oh, Perry. Jack, Jack Richards is also involved. Ron Fajara, who's had a great t first two races, he, he took a hard hit. So we're under the yellow Ooh. flag for the third time in this race. I don't know who the leader is at this point. It very likely still is James Qualls. And Ryan Cooper is now in the second position. Dylan Pote third. Max Russell, the Englishman, has moved out to fourth. And Luke Martin has fallen to the fifth position. But wow. Just wow. when everyone just started bunching up. And, I mean, we were going to wreck sooner or later. We almost had some good racing there. Yeah, but all those cars bunching up, that's just the that's just the thing it is when it comes to Vegas. You want to you want to go you want to put put it all on the line for that jackpot, but you know, one mistake by one driver costs the race for many. As we are under the L flag for the third time this race, and we'll get and we'll take a look we'll put us under the L flag for the third time. Stay tuned. This will put us under the L flag number 3 in the race. Watch the 42 of Jacob Law as he comes into turn 1. Look at that car just swap ends as he goes onto the apron. He got loose. He got into the Very apron loose. and then right there, Brandon Bain, he's gonna get into he's gonna get into Jacob Law and then Michael Norman's gonna take a hard hit right oh, here. And then that's not it. There's some in the back. Oh there was oh there was more. And I was and I was talking to you about this earlier in the earlier, right before Rise right the Yell Flag came out, they were bunching up right here. That was that previous incident. That was what put us under the yellow flag. But this one has to take the cake in this caution. Joseph tried to take it uh, four wide. Joseph Lombard make it, made it four wide, but then he got stuck on the apron there. He had to go back up the racetrack. He's gonna get into Barney Ward and watch him get into David Burton and Dylan Young. Seth Cole and Ryan Richards also gonna get a piece of it, and uh, I think and Liam Irving and Preston Plord are gonna get some damage there. Preston Plord didn't take much, but Liam Irving's gonna take a hard hit. No. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, something happened around here. Something happened with Jack Richards. Oh, man, hard hit. Hard hit by Jack Richards oh. all the way into Brandon Bain. Just, man. just nowhere to go for that 16 machine. Where'd go? Oh. And, watch, and watch the 10 right here. Oh, just couldn't oh. slow down fast enough. Now. And then somebody else got into it, too. Oh, man. The 9. The nine's going to take a hard hit. Oh, Brandon oh. Bain's going to give him a nice tap right there. Oh my God! And look at look at Kalsas Noski. Kalsas Noski just slid all the way into Jack Richards there. Oh man, Eric Burton just barely missing him. Oh. And this is where and Justin, Justin Perry. Perry. Gets in. Oh, oh my God! Look God. at Kalsas Noski. He flipped over, and oh. then Seth Cole's gonna take a piece of it. Man. More cars getting involved in more wrecks, and just like I said, they were bunching up all the all the way over there, and that's what caused this chain reaction. Of Rex. And James. James Qualls got back to the line first. Uh, Ryan Cooper would be second. Dylan Pote third. Max Russell up to fourth. And Luke Martin down to fifth. But man, Charles, more of these cars getting more into these accidents. And, you know, it's just, again, it's the chain reaction of all these things. One car gets into, one car gets involved in an incident and it collects many more. Let's see, uh, let's see how our... Yeah, there's no word... Yeah, nowhere for these guys to go, but our co-commentator, Charles Jackson, has now moved up to the 8th position. So, Charles Jackson doing very ba very cool and pretty, sitting pretty in that 8th position. So, And with a couple of laps to go after this, uh, as we get to the final restart of this race, we will see if Charles Jackson can move his way into the top 5. Yeah. But let's see, uh, but he's not the only Toyota in the top, in the top 10. That's Luke Martin right there. Of course, Charles is a big fan of Toyotas. He is. We'll see if Toyota can get yep. as many as many as many cars in the top ten. Another to Toyota in the top ten is Richard Johnson. So, 
So the Chevys are currently dominating. Four, first through fourth are all Chevys. You got a Childress Chevy and uh, you got Childress, then a Stuart Haas, and then two Hendrick Chevys. The first Toyota is a Joe Gibbs Toyota. Then you got some Ford representation, sixth and seventh. Then you got the Toyotas in eighth and ninth, and then another Ford in this in the tenth position. Dodge is not many, does not have many cars, but. The first Dodge is Callum Wells in 12th, and actually, actually, look at this. It's a it's a Penske line from 12th to 14th. Penske line up there. It's Callum Wells and then Zohar Manud and Trent Dunham. So, so we got a lot of representation wow. on here as we are under the yellow flag for the third time this race, and we'll be get back to green flag racing right for this. We're back. PSR is giving us the one to go once again. Um, Let's take a look at our top Let's 10 at this point. 10. It's James Qualls followed James by Ryan Cooper, Cooper Dylan Poteet third, Dylan. Max Russell fourth, and Luke Martin rounds at the third. top five. Luke. Cody Lamas is in sixth, Danny Lomas. Wells, our Six. defending Six. champions, is in seventh, Charles Six. Jackson in eighth, Ron, eighth. Richard Johnson Ron in ninth, Johnson. and Tony Blazer rounds at the top 10. Eight cars. Eight, eight cars eight ended up DNFing from the third from the third caution. Kyle Sosnowski, Seth Cole, Justin Perry, Dylan Young, David Burton, Ron Fajara, Jack Richards, and Brandon Bain. Barney Ward, Ben Paul, and Eric Burton are all a lap down. Man, James Qualls might uh, have to watch it back here on this restart. Of course, he's got a couple, he's got Dylan Poti and Ryan Cooper. They're the same person, but different name. Green Flag is back in the air for the final time on lap 17. Man, James Claus just gets a big run there that nobody could uh, get to him. James Claus got a nice jump on the on the restart, and now that might that might open the do that might open the door for James Claus to get his first win in the in in the PR to be his first career PR to victory. But now let's take a look at around here. Because a lot of action happens around here. They start to bunch up here, and you see all these guards. They're on the apron. They're all temporarily on the apron. For the yeah, moment. they're all on the apron. Oh. Well, here oh. comes Dylan Poteet. Oh, here comes Dylan Poteet. Dylan Poteet, and now Luke Martin to the inside for the third position. Oh man, somebody was way on the apron there. A couple of cars are there. They are going to the garage. The L flag is not out. Oh, they're bunching up again. Oh, bunching up again. look at look that. At Matthew McMurray. Look at Matthew McMurray. All the, All the way in the apron. Gotta be careful. Two to go now this time by, and James Qualls still with a comfortable lead. But look again, at look at Dylan Poteet. Look at, look at, him look, a little look at bit, Poteet. Though. Look at Cooper. They're second and third. Luke Martin is now fourth, and here comes the Englishman, Englishman Max Russell in the fifth position, but now Cody Lamas and Danny Wells might have something to say about that. And Charles Jackson, our co commentator Oh, man, he's a Danny Wells. Stuck oh, on the yeah, outside, man. but look at, look at all these guys. Caution is not out. The white flag is out. One lap to go for James Qualls. And he's got a comfortable three-tenths of a second, a less than three-tenths second of a lead over Dylan Poteet right now. But James Qualls is sitting pretty so far. Yeah, it doesn't look like Dylan could uh, get to him down the straightaway, so it looks like James has it. Coming off of turn four, James Qualls is clean as his mirror, and it's going to be James Qualls who comes away with the checkered flag. He hits the jackpot here at Vegas in the Nationwide Series. That's who I picked to win, and he got it. Well, good job well done by you, Charles. My other pick, Michael Norman, he ended up uh, finishing well in the back of the pack. He ended up 23rd, but... But you called it right, Charles. James Qualls James comes, away with, comes away with the win. It's the Kentucky Gang, 1-2-3. James Qualls, Dylan Pochi, and Ryan Cooper. Great representation of Kentucky there. Yes, and congratulations to James Qualls. He will get his, that's his first career Pepsi, that's his first career Pepsi Max Nationwide Series victory and his first career in my league. A great run by Dylan Pochi, and he'll end up second. Ryan Cooper will end up third. Luke Martin, that's his best finish of the season, and a great rebound. From uh, from the Phoenix race as he ends up fourth and Cody Lamas and runs Cody at the top five. Wow, a great race by all. But I'll tell you, there was a, there were a couple of drivers over there that around the field that really deserved something good, and unfortunately they got involved in many wrecks. A lot of wrecks happen here today. All right, well, well we're almost done here, but first we'll take you to your official race results. 
As a look at your official race results, congratulations to James Claus. That's his first career Pepsi Max Nationwide Series victory and his first in my league. Dylan Poteen and Ryan Cooper make up the uh, rest of the podium. The Kentucky Yang rounds out the podium, sweeps the podium. A great job by the state of Kentucky right there. Luke Martin, a great rebound for Luke Martin after finishing towards the back in Phoenix. He will end up with a fourth place finish as well as Cody Lamas. Great one by Cody Lamas. Max Russell, the Englishman, will end up six. Xavier Livingston ends up seven. Tony Blazer in eight. Charles Jackson, another top ten run for Charles Jackson. He'll, he'll gain some momentum into round four. And Richard Johnson is the last Toyota. He rounds up the top ten. Danny Wells, oh, yeah. Jacob Lawler, Trent Dunham, Matthew McMurray, and Zohar Manute are 11th through 15th, 16th through 20th now. Callum Wells, Ryan Juke, Jacob Cook, Robert Wagner, and Preston Plord. Go through the rest of the cars that ended up finishing the race on the lead lap. It's Red Bell, Ryan Richards, Michael Norman, and Joseph Lombard. A couple of four cars ended up finishing a lap down or more. Barney Ward, Eric Burton, Liam Ervick, and Ben Paul. And 14 cars ended up DNFing from the race. Brandon Bain, Jack Richards, Ron Fajara, David Burton, Dylan Young, Justin Perry, Seth Cole, Kyle Sosnowski, Sam Young, Stephen Whitman, Sean Gallagher, John Dillon, Alex Jones, and Rhett Yates. And before I forget, now it's official. Well, Charles, it's it was a great race here, but I'll tell you this. Many wrecks happened around this race. Many wrecks happened. Yeah, a lot of guys probably uh, thought they would do good here today, but uh, just a lot of circumstances didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you couple talk about a couple of drivers here, such as Michael Norman, my pick, he got involved in two incidents, and he ended up finishing 23rd. But like you said before, James Qualls, sometimes it's good to start up near the front, and for James Qualls, it pays off for him, and he ends up with the win. Yeah, let every single lap get the dominant performance. A very dominating performance by James Calls and a well-deserved win for that 29 team. So, uh, Charles, just give me your uh, just give me your thoughts about this race with all those wrecks happening. Do you think many car? Do you think do you think some cars? Do you think some some drivers really deserved a better finish? Yeah, like Dylan Young and Seth Cole. Yeah, um, guys like uh, Sean Galligan. I mean, they had uh, decent cars. They just uh, were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Nothing you could do. Yeah, just uh, just circumstances got in the way for some of these for notable drivers, Dylan Young, Seth Cole, and Sean Galligan, and especially our 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 special competition winner, Stephen Whitman. But uh, he will be in the Cup Series uh, playoffs as he has chosen. But for Stephen Whitman, it's not going to be a good uh, run for him in the Nationwide Series. He'll have to uh, hope he can rebound at Auto Club Speedway in my home track. Well, Charles, it's a great race here and. Uh, Man, I'll tell you why. It's a it was a huge wreck fest to say the least. Many cars DNF from the race, but I'm yeah. glad, I'm glad we're out of here. But we still have the uh, Pepsi Cup Series race to go, and that will be under the lights. So it's going to be interesting to see how those cars. Oh yeah. How, under the lights. It's going to be interesting to see how those cars perform under the lights. Well, Charles, it's great to have you here, and uh, I hope to uh, do more, many more of these co commentaries very soon with you. Yeah, it was my pleasure, Kevin. All right. See you guys later. All right, guys. This is Randy Orton Fan 2011 signing off. This race has been brought to you by Pepsi Max. Zero, cal zero calories, maximum taste. Pepsi Max. I'm out.